All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and your family and whoever you know so they can learn about the wonderful religion of Islam. You know, uh, we have thousands and millions of articles speaking about the high ethic of a Prophet Muhammad. He has an amazing ethic, an ethic you cannot even imagine. And you know, uh, uh, if you want to make a god of somebody, just write tons of articles of about, about him and make him like he is the best ever. And if you want to trash somebody, make articles to trash him, even if it's not a true. So today we will be truthful as usual, and we will examine how truthful it is the claim that the Prophet of Islam was an ethical man. I'm not going to talk about Muhammad marrying a child at the age of six which is obviously not ethical at all. And the Muslims, in order to defend what is written and mentioned by even the wife of the Prophet, and it's approved for 14 centuries by the Abdul, the Muhammadan, yet they make articles saying, no, 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 the Prophet, he married her when she was 18 years old, but the fact, when she was 18, Muhammad was already dead. But this is not really what my topic today but i wanted to mention it so we can add it to the list like one of the many many things muhammad he attacked people he raped women he kidnapped them he took money he tortured people to find where they hide their money uh yeah but there is more 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 ugly what is more ugly can be more than this you know the muslims always they say to us that muhammad uh Oh, sorry, the Muslim, they say to you, do you know that uh, Prophet Lut, and by the way, for me, he's not a prophet. I don't know what makes him prophet, but according to Muslims, anything is a prophet. You know, Zulqarnain is a prophet, Alexander the Great. So uh, he had sex with his wife, his, uh, his daughters, and they make a big deal about it. You know, but, but the guy, he was a drunk, and it is his daughters who step with him. And the Bible is not saying that God said that to them. The Bible is reporting a story about what they did. The same as what Satan he did too. The same as many broke sin. The same as what David, you know, he was broken the, the, the order of God. So what the Bible report a story doesn't mean the Bible is saying do that. And that is the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. But here we find that in Islam, Muhammad, he approved having sex with your daughter. And we will show you two cases. Muhammad having sex with his daughter-in-law. And not only that, he changed the law of adoption. So adoption became forbidden Islam just for the sake of him having sex with his own wife, his own son wife. And I will show you here uh, how the Muslims try to explain the ethic of Muhammad. This is an article written by the Muslims. All of it is about Zainab bin Tujahish, which because it, adoption became forbidden because of that uh, here they are talking that Zainab bin Tujahish is the wife of his own adopted son okay and then they say to you here down if you go that the Arab and here the article written by Muslims calling the Arab barbaric what is barbaric about them I want you to read carefully guys with me Forbidden adoption, it abolished a barbaric custom that equated a blood relationship with an adoptive one, while the father could not marry an adopted son, ex-wife, or widow. This is barbaric. You see Islam? I don't know if you guys, you can see the text clear. Is, is, the, is, the, is the text clear for you? you? Guys, you can read it or no? Is the text clear for you? Let me zoom a little bit more. I'm not sure how clear it is for you. So, not having the Arab, they are barbaric. And what makes them barbaric? They don't allow you, imagine, to have sex with your own daughter-in-law. Ex, like she was ex, but what ex? Muhammad, he went to the house and he flirted with the women when she was married. 
and he said to her according to Muslim books scholars reference praise be to Allah the one who made my heart beat for you so imagine how the ethic changed just to make Muhammad look like a wonderful man Muhammad he went to the house of Zainab he found Zainab standing as it says in the in the in the reference and she was almost wearing nothing and Allah he pushed the wind of the curtain and he saw her standing wearing almost nothing so he said to her flirting and she heard him which means he said that in purpose so she will hear praise be to Allah the one who made my heart beat for you flip for you and now in this article it says that Allah the order of this uh, uh, verse where Muhammad been given permission by Allah to sleep with his own daughter-in-law it abolished the barbaric custom that acquitted a blood relationship with an adopted one in which the father could not marry an adopted son ex-wife this is barbaric according to the Muslims it's barbaric that you don't sleep with your own son ex-wife but the by, by the way the man he did divorce his wife just so Muhammad he can have her Ibn al-Arabi which one of the biggest scars in the history of Islam he said that if the Prophet he fail his eyes his eyes fall into a woman her husband he must divorce her immediately let me get the reference so Muslims will not say ah he's lying lying because we show it in the screen still they say he's lying and if you'd like to read more about the sexuality in Islam you can get my books my Amazon uh, and maybe specifically in this case uh, six and Allah so you can learn more All right, it's two volume. Feel free to read it. Let us see. Um, just uh, getting the reference. Give me a second, please. Who dare to say Muhammad was not a good man? Nobody there. Nobody. Nobody. All right. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You can go all the way to the end and you can read that this is official Saudi government website so this is the project of the electronic uh, uh, Quran by the King the King Saud uh, University all right if we go here you will see that the Prophet he been given 16 privilege 16 privilege more than nine or ten of them is about sex read with me carefully and you know what I'm going to open Google translation so people will not say oh he don't you know he's showing us something we do not know in Arabic you know what I mean mm -hmm. Google translation is not accurate but we'll do the job we hope so all right so we will copy paste in the front of your eyes this is uh, privilege number 10 so we're counting okay privilege let us see the privilege I will copy it as it is be my witness let us show the screen I will copy it as it is here we go copy we go to Google paste Uh, we need to switch the language okay Arabic and we go to English if he sees this is this is Google translation remember this is not accurate but it make it make uh, the point if he sees if his if he sees his eyes which means if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her 
do you see how much ethic we have here guys do you do you see how much ethic if Muhammad he come to your house and he sees your wife and he like her bum she have a beautiful ass huh the prophet he have to have her that's it you are your husband you have to divorce her immediately have you ever heard of an ethic like this before I mean who can who can uh, argue with this ethic and this is what is that a Christian book is that written by a Christian Prince is that the enemy of the Prophet no this is the this is official Saudi Arabia website and all if you count all of those like here number look look the Prophet was given 16 privilege he take the best of the booty number two he he took the the fifth of the booty <laughs> number four like he you know he have a connection with Allah for long uh, number three sorry number four he can have more than four wives all Muslims they can have only four Muhammad he can have as much as he want number five he can if a woman by giving herself like a woman she come to himself to him and say uh, take me that's it you do not need to marry you know bra -la -la. no not that she'll just take me take me baby okay so Muhammad you can he, he is allowed only him only him is allowed to have sex with women without any contract just take me take me I take you go to the bed and then number seven actually you know what why am I doing this let me let me uh, let me copy hold on because they might say to me I, I I'm, I'm lying you know you know what I mean right let us see if we can uh, uh, translate all of these two lines together. Sometime uh, uh, Google don't accept all of them. Okay, let us see here. Number four, the increase of four women. <laughs> Do you see it? What? What? Number five, marriage as a gift. Well, it doesn't say marriage, by the way. It says to give herself a gift. A gift. A woman she gave herself as a gift this is only for the prophet and then without a guardian a woman she do not need a guardian that's it he take her he, like, with permission every Muslim woman she had to get permission from her uh, the, the adult of the family the male Muhammad when he, he want a woman that's it there's no need for permission number seven uh, 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 marriage without a friendship what <laughs> I mean the translation is <laughs> No marriage without payment. He don't need to pay. He do not need. It's for free. The prophet he need to have sex, buddy. Are you are you stupid or what? The prophet he need to have sex. He's horny. Why he need to pay? Come on. And then number eight, uh, marry uh, have sex in the case of haram, which means Muslims are in certain time when they are going in the in the Kaaba, they cannot have sex. The prophet he can do that. He can. And then. <coughs> If he take an oath to his wife he can break it have you ever heard more, more I mean look at this the Prophet he can promise his wives he can take an oath I swear by Allah I will not do that only the Prophet he can take an oath and he can break it and then if his eyes fall in the women her husband must divorce her immediately so the Prophet he can if her not marry her do you see it so how we can say Muhammad he have a high ethic all of this proving to us that Muhammad is a cult leader uh, There's an article actually uh, You can go and read it. It says five cult leaders used used sex To control their followers All sick all cult leaders they use sex to control their followers They want to have with their followers and They make it as a duty you have to sleep with him. I mean come on you are a female who believe in Allah and the Prophet is horny. What's wrong with you? Are you a good woman or not? Are you devoted women for the sake of Allah? Sure, honey, honey, I'm, I'm very devoted. Okay, so why are your panties still on? The Prophet is waiting. The Prophet is here. Are you stupid or what? Even Muhammad, uh, you know, Aisha, she got him busted and. Uh, she said to him that I see that your Lord he rushed into your desire Muhammad so 
look what look, look what the hadith says here the hadith by the way here make it like Aisha has been bad she's evil now okay why because she felt jealous why she felt jealous I felt jealous of women who offered themselves to Allah messenger I mean look this this is a hippie religion the Prophet is standing in the beach and women they are coming with their bikini honey I want you and the Prophet I mean he is a very 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 honorable man he cannot let a woman need help this is all is about high ethic he is helping them he is not sleeping with them they are sleeping with him I mean guys come on we have to be serious huh say hi to your cousin my friend John your cousin is a great person so uh, this is Muhammad is doing charity here charity women they want to have sex and Muhammad is very uh, you know he's ready and he like to help he like to help I mean come on we have to face it I mean who can who can deny Muhammad here is doing he's a very this is very high ethic okay imagine yourself you are walking in the street huh and there is a woman she is extremely horny and she said, I want to give myself to you. Are you going to be rude and say no? I mean, come on, we have to be honest here. And especially you are a person sent by God. I mean, if you are a person who sent by God and you refuse to sleep with horny women who they are desperately looking for a man to sleep with them, how, 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 are you? there's no way the prophet he will say no. I mean, he is doing what, what, what the prophet is coming for. He's coming to serve mankind. Uh, especially actually here womankind in this case forget about the mankind and the women she come and she says I wanna you know the prophet he says uh, I am in your service mom just get in the bed uh, don't forget to take off your panty because there is long list of women waiting so the prophet obviously he have a very high ethic I mean it is not ethical not to agree that the prophet is highly ethical you guys are being hypocrite we have to we have and you are jealous how many of you wish that you open the door you find a list of by the way I was thinking to put a ticket machine in the door of my door and I'm thinking to announce myself a prophet so women they come and they take a ticket and then okay one by one I mean uh, and not only that Muhammad after he made a verse in the Quran that any Muslim woman she can give herself to the prophet so he can if her not to marry her after he made that he noticed Muhammad he made a mistake anyone notice what the mistake anyone remember what the mistake he made this verse that he can if all those women Allah told him he is not this is not his fault Allah told him you can if all those women women they come they want to come on but after he made this verse he noticed that there's women who they are not good-looking or they are old with my respect to all, all women but he have to fix this i mean oh like okay a woman now she is a uh, 70 years old and she is coming to the prophet and she's make marijuana <laughs> i want to sleep with you prophet the prophet you look like what the heck no way i'm not going to sleep with her but i told him any woman she can forgive herself so i'm going to fix it so look what he said and then he said that allah send me this verse brother allah said to me you might differ between your wives so example brother there's many women that are coming to the prophet and the prophet he cannot have sex with all of them and now he have no time he thought of time so Allah he told him you might differ between them and you can put them in turn and you can delay the one you want and you can take right away the one you want brother and this is very wide and very welcome from Allah thank you very much so uh, you may differ and turn turn off oh, oh hold on hold on hold on, hold on. So now women they are coming to the prophet he opened he opened the door we have vacancies okay the prophet he will he will sleep with all of you and then when the women who they are not good looking they are coming Muhammad he want to get rid of them so how would this excuse the same excuse he used before to sleep with them is the same excuse not to sleep with them Allah so Allah is the one who said to me sleep with you Allah is the one he said to me you might differ do you see how Muhammad he used because of his high ethic God as a puppet? Do you guys notice? Yeah, this is in the Quran. This is a chapter 33 verse number 50 and 51. You know what? 
I, sometimes I ask myself, why why Allah did not choose me to be a prophet? I mean, it's, I think it's a nice job. And I will open my headquarter in Las Vegas. Or maybe in uh, in Holland in the strip for uh, the prostitution. All right. We move to different thing about the ethic of the prophet. You, you know, there's many things I cannot count really for you how ethical he is. He is full of ethic, full of ethic. I mean, from the top to the bottom. Actually, if Muhammad he went to the lab laboratory to check his blood, they would not find the blood. They would find ethic. I mean, like 99.9 .9 ethic and one percent. Uh, 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 like uh, uh, ethic, a uh, plus. Okay, so what else? Uh, the Prophet Muhammad, because he's very ethical, he allow Muslim women, men to rent women for sex. Now, I am not the one who is using that word, so don't take it against me. It is you, Muslims. This is your Muslim website. Be my witness, alislam.org. And here they're explaining to you how the Prophet, he allowed men to have sex with women because they pay them their wages. So, you know, like you are horny and, you know, you want a woman. What do you do? You break the law of Allah? No way. Islam teaching you ethic. I mean, come on. Like, okay, to explain it to you a simple way. You are hungry. What do you do? You steal? No. No, you go out to the buy grocery store and buy food. Okay, here is the same. There's a grocery store, according to Allah, where women, they offer themselves for sex, but you have to pay. All right? Uh, as they say in, the, in, in, in America, I, I heard it once in a radio show. They said, uh, no honey, uh, no money, no honey. Uh, that's perfect. I think, Muhammad, if you heard about this, he would put in the Quran. No money, no honey. It's fit perfectly. So here, Muhammad saying, okay, use your money to get the honey. Women, they have honey. Use your money. Chapter 4, verse number 24. And then the scholars of Islam, they like to make it simple for us. So look what they say. In some work, special term applied to women who participate in muta, muta, which is a, the, the sexual contract between you and the women. Or rented women, what? Rented women? Yes, brother, rented women. I mean, how, come on, listen, listen. You go to America, you find everywhere a sign it says for lease, for lease, for lease. So what's wrong with you? Why you don't accept that as an ethical lease? For lease. A rented women. Who is the one saying that? Are they those the enemy of Allah? Are they the Jews? Are they the Christians? No, no, this is a Muslim website and they are explaining to us how you can rent a woman. If there's any women there have a vacancy? <laughs> this is a very high ethic religion. I mean, who can beat that? Why you guys are not being honest? What's wrong with you? I advise you to see a doctor. Now, mustajara uh, in Arabic it says here mustajara. Mustajara means rented, rented women. Exactly, they're translating correctly. Muta considered as a kind of rental. Ki kind of what? Kind, kind of what? It's a kind of rental because, in general, man, man, basic is uh, in this kind, in this kind of marriage. This is marriage, is sexual enjoyment of the women. <laughs> <laughs> brother and sisters Allah he like to make us have fun so because he like us to have fun and look here let us analyze how many people will have fun in this scenario the women she will have fun because she will get paid the man will have fun because he will release his uh, semen and Allah will have fun watching. So like, hit three birds in one stone. And you are telling me that the Prophet was not high ethical, allowing his people to rent a woman for sex? Hmm. You guys are crazy. This is the most beautiful hippie religion. Are you a hippie? If you like to be a hippie, join the hippie cult. 
rented women and then they explain to you and in return okay hold on let's read it together again excuse my English if you don't like my English by the way because I'm a black blonde African from Japan uh, and uh, my English is not good just to be honest with you so if you if you hear me saying some pronunciation wrong what I can do I mean <laughs> I'm an Arab <laughs> hello <laughs> I feel sorry for you uh, muta is considered a kind of rental because in general men's basic aim uh -huh. what is the basic aim ah, like hold on hold on I, I want to put a I want to put a mark here under the basic aim I mean there's a there's a general aim and there's a basic aim look 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 how deep this is, is I mean come on you see guys I feel sorry for you because you are not deep this is deep this is deep as the ocean general man's basic aim how the Muslim they understand marriage general man's basic aim is the kind of the of this in this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment in brother of the women what's wrong with you people aren't you excited how many of you feel like you want to do muta how many of you who's a muslim here hmm? Any Muslim here? What is this? Your basic aim to have sex with the women, and this is why you have you are allowed to rent her. And by the way, this kind of relationship in Islam, there is no divorce. You know that, right? When the time is up, because here you agree with the women. You, you tell her, I want to have sex with you. I'm trying to be polite not to use the F word. Did I say the F word? I, I'm, not, I'm trying to be polite not to say the F word. And he says to her, I want to... Uh -huh. And then she said to her, okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. But he have to mention for how long and how much. So the conditions of the muta are four. The major important one of them is the period, the money, and the declaration, which means... You say I'm going to have sex with you for two hours, pay fifteen dollars. She repeat after you saying, "I accept to have sex with you for two hours, for fifteen dollars." All right, and then by saying that, the rental is already started. So your lease, the woman is your lease now. You can take her to the bedroom. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter. Even in the elevator, it's okay. It's halal. Be sure it's elevator. Not it's made in Pakistan, not made in uh, Europe because it's haram. All right so uh I, I don't know what to say i mean the prophet obviously he have a lot of ethic did i mention too many ethical things about them all those those things proven muhammad to be a very highly ethic you see there's a formula for the contract there is a person's uh there is the the timing there is you know the mud the period you see so it is it it is very i mean it is Unbelievable! Here they call it the dower. What dower? This is the wages. It's in your like in your in your page. It's you who call wages. What dower? Wages. Any Muslim want to remind me of something ethical about the Prophet? I did not mention, please. The Prophet he forbade adoption just for the sake of having sex with his own. His own son wife What kind of a prophet he do that? Why? What for? And the Muslims in their articles they say oh uh, because this is was barbaric Barbaric it was barbaric to forbid the father from having sex with his own son ex-wife Barbaric so Islam abolish it Zainab used to say proudly to other mothers of the believers which mean the wives of uh, Muhammad that her marriage had been performed by her fat not by her family but by Allah look at this God I mean this God is so nice he is the first one who opened website for dating but this website only for Muhammad Allah said to Muhammad you sleep with this woman that's it 
Muhammad is just a slave of Allah. He just obey. He's not. He's not horny. It's not. It's not what you think. It is Allah who ordered him to sleep with her. Because what's wrong with you? I feel sorry for you, honestly. You see, I don't know. I, sometimes I feel like uh, I'm really proud. I'm really proud for many reasons. Because in uh, I'm an Arab. The Prophet is an Arab. And because both of us, we are Arab, so we have different mentality and we understand things very fast. We are very fast. We are very fast in everything except making things happen. You know, like you're promising the people to have electricity. You go in the Middle East, you will see. You see, by the way, in the West, you celebrate Christmas only in one day in the year. We celebrate it every day the whole year. Electricity goes in, off, in, off, in, off. To the point, if you want to make a cake, it takes you 10, 20 hours. Wonderful. I mean, this is joy. I mean, your life is busy and full of action. And here is Zainab. She is saying to the wives, the other wives, hey, wives, the prophet, he wanted you to sleep with you. He, oh, hold on. Here, Allah himself, he ordered the prophet to marry me. To marry me, brother. I mean, how proud you are. She must be proud. The prophet, he put his nose there. Uh, I mean, Allah. All right. So, from above look look it's not her family who performed her marriage but Allah above from heaven with his beloved the Prophet see guys Allah is sitting in his throne in the seven galaxy behind 711 and now Allah is thinking hmm I need to make a very important order today I am going to order the Prophet to sleep with this woman I mean it makes sense I mean this God he have nothing to do bored there, there's no like uh, 70 inch TV, there's no action movies, there's no cartoon. Even Mickey Mouse is the enemy of Allah. So, Allah will watch what? So, Allah, He ordered the Prophet, and the Prophet, because His obedience, His full obedience, He used His private part to make Allah order come to be true. All cult leaders, they share one thing sexual activities. With there who believe in them as a prophets and this is nothing to do only with Muhammad it happened there's tons of list of names all of them they do the same in the West in the East it doesn't matter they convince you that they are special they are prophets and then they take advantage of the females of those believers my 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 books it doesn't come in uh, uh, Croatian or Bosnian or Serbian sorry for that my books comes only in uh, you know Dutch uh, uh, Swedish uh, French uh, uh, Spanish you know like uh, you can search just go to Amazon and type my name a Christian Prince and you will find the list of my my, my books my friend uh, but we don't have really in those maybe in the future if some good good ones they volunteer to help in translation maybe we can have them <coughs> so we have in german uh for sure we have in english you know and this book actually sex and allah uh it's became very popular between muslims because muslims they know nothing really about about uh about the strong connection between the cult of islam and sexuality all of islam is about sex you know, a mujahid who want to go for war, he is not going for war because he love Allah really. He's going for war for the sake of sex. He want to get the the, the, the versions. Uh, Allah will make his penis endless. So this is not about believing as much as about a reward, which is sexual reward. 70 women at least, or 80,000 women, they will jump on you and they will be eating you alive. So uh, uh, when you see somebody, he is trying to commit suicide bombing. He is not doing it because really he like to cut himself pieces. Nobody want to do that. But because he is dreaming about a happy life, sexual life, where he will go, he is rejected. Maybe no, even no women want to marry him here. So in heaven, the second, according to Muhammad, the second he his blood is shed, the same second he is in heaven immediately. And women, he will be in his house, in his palace, full of 80,000 little boys and women. They will jump on him and they will fight who is going to do him first. And by the way, I like this heaven of Allah because all women there look that look the same. They have the same height, they have the same voice, they say the same words, which is very beautiful. I mean, how boring. <laughs> 
imagine you have 80,000 wives or 1 million wives because in Islam there's ranks by the way the lowest heaven for a Muslim the lowest heaven is 72 wives which means this is not really the reward uh, for all Muslims this is for the bad Muslim are you getting my point like uh, it's very popular to say uh, like they say 72 virgins but the fact that 72 virgins is for the lowest the bad the one who is not really uh, he did not do uh, jihad terrorism etc this is a bad Muslim he is not practicing so here you see the list of the people of paradise position is the one with 80,000 servant how many 80,000 brother you will eat 80,000 sandwiches a day and then the 72 women's all right and your house by the way uh, you're uh, okay hold on hold on hold on here you will see that Muhammad he is a person who tell the truth do you know how big your bedroom anyone knows how big the bedrooms is anyone knows how big the bedroom do you see it in the screen in front of you look look how big the bedroom is the bedroom which you have in the heaven is made of pearl it's a tent it's a tent uh, Muhammad is a Bedouin he cannot imagine something better so a tent you have a tent eh, you are Bedouin Arabian Bedouin in the desert and now in heaven you still you have a tent that's wonderful and then this tent is made from pearl pre dot and uh, a cardamom set up for him in the size which will be the like between a Jabia and Sana'a okay hold on hold on I'm going to show you what a Jabia and Sana'a is about anyone knows how where, where is Jabia hold on uh, I need to open Google as uh, Google Earth uh, give me a second I hope my internet will not slow if I open uh, uh, Google Earth Jabia and Sana'a I mean Muhammad are you sure okay <sighs> Lord have mercy. True story. Must be true story. I mean, Muhammad, he never says something is not true. No way. We have to be honest here. All right. I will show you what a Jabia and Sana'a. This is your bedroom size. Remember, this is not the whole house. This is the bedroom. I mean, come on. Okay. So, if we go, uh, let us, uh, let us uh, use Google. Uh, uh, tools where is the tools ah, here we go uh, uh, all right so a jabia simply is in Damascus here and then the Sana'a is here in Yemen let us see okay straight line straight line is going to be two thousand and seven and uh, uh, two thousand two hundred seventeen uh, sorry, no, let's, let's just go to kilometer. Yeah, 2,217 kilometer only. This is your bedroom. Brother. A brother only 2,217 kilometer the size of your bedroom. Now, why you need a big room like this? Anyone knows why? What is the logic behind that? Isn't it Muhammad? He says that each one of them, her ass, will be one mile. So, my friend, if you have eight, you have seventy-two wives, for their ass alone is seventy-two miles is gone. So there is a reason for the bedroom to be big. If the ass alone is seven is is a one mile, so how how many miles the woman is? Actually, if you have my books, you will see that the Muslim man will be ninety mile tall. And uh, some reference says 30, 30 mile tall, which is very nice, by the way. I mean, you are 90, 90, 90 mile. Are you sure? Your wife, she is uh, 30 mile tall. So she are like three times taller than her. How, how you can kiss her? You are three times taller than her. And how wide she is. Anyway, my brother, 
obviously always the prophet he tell the truth and here we go now you know how big your bedroom so your bedroom brother is from here all the way from here brother all the way to here now if we measure the same size let us make it a like a, a square so your your the, the the room will go from all the way behind Egypt to Africa to the end of the uh, to the Persian Gulf this is your room this is your room brother are you happy brother the ethical prophet he promised us a huge rooms because we have to do a lot of ethic inside them we are doing boom boom I mean this is ethic even heaven it turned to be a porn house is going to be a boom boom house the bedroom this is my bedroom red I make it red brother for you so you can understand what's exactly is going to happen there this is the size of my bedroom alhamdulillah yeah just for me now what person what person are you what what you're talking about yes one person and do you think me as a person is like you as a person we are a different person and even even uh, scientists they, they prove that everyone have different personality so what person yeah but everybody every person have different per, 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 uh, room so this is a this is a this is a, your room and you, you is going to be full of women and 80,000 little boys unbelievable 80,000 boys what I would do with them I mean the ethical of Muhammad the ethic is a promising me boys to serve me is that ethical isn't it? this is called the children and child abuse the Muslim they say they don't have sex with them let us assume they don't have sex with them because the Quran described them as pearl beautiful handsome so beautiful white according to the Quran but why there's a there's a program it's called the Dean show they tell you that in the heaven of Allah there's no laundry your clothes will never wrinkle wrinkle you never take a shower you never sweat you never get dirty and if you wish to have food you say the word bismillah the, the food will be in front of you and there's no garbage so what the servants for what the servants for why I need 80,000 little boy guys how many of you is going to download this video I do my part I do my part to share awareness between all people including the Muslims that Muhammad is not what they've been taught you see when I was doing a study in Islamic law in the school I learned nothing really from you know because everything they say it's positive Muhammad is amazing Islam is beautiful the Quran is I mean there's nothing there everything I'm saying to you is what I discover so we you know I spend my life studying this stupid cult and I give you a summaries in 15 or 20 minutes or an hour but we need your help so more people they can know and all what we're asking you for is just simple there's any case to cost you money download the video share it you see I'm not looking for subscribers I'm not looking for people to see my channel I'm looking for people to see the truth and the truth will set you free we cannot compare between this and the teaching of Christ The distance between the teaching of Muhammad and the teaching of Christ is even bigger than the distance between the heaven and earth. Yet they want to say to us that Islam is a conservative religion. You know, not only that, what about Muhammad ordering Muslim women to give their breast to a stranger? Did he? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Have you ever heard of a lousy cult like this? A woman, she came to the prophet. She said that there is a guy in my house and that my husband is jealous. He is looking at me in a dirty way or something. So Muhammad, he said to her, give him your boobs and let him suck it 10 different times. And then Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he gave him a verse. But sadly, the goat ate it. And by the way, until now, this goat is wanted 
actually I found a video of uh, a picture for it uh, in the FBI website very I mean very dangerous <clears throat> So in case guys if any one of you he like he find this uh, goat you hear something about her uh, There's a big reward. There's a big 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 reward, you know, so like I, I don't know it, it, Maybe you got lucky and you find that you find this goat Just if you find her just call this uh, number uh, Halal Islam care, you know care and you know report this goat who ate the Quran and until now, by the way, there is conspiracy that Russia is involved in this uh, Trump issue. You know, the Trump. Uh, he, he, the, this is the this is the book of uh, Trump. Uh, and uh, obviously, the Russian are involved in this story. Either the Russian or the Jews. I mean, who else? I mean, come on, they think about it. Who else? Who who is going to send this goat to eat the Quran? All right. So something fishy there. Obviously, we have to agree. You know. So the Hadith says. That when the prophet was in the element of death, he died. Uh, a goat enter the read with me carefully. The verse of a stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten time. At what 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 breastfeeding for who? Breastfeeding for who? For adult and ten time. Yes, brother. The prophet he ordered the Muslim women to give their boobs to an adult man ten time in order to be able to sit with him. And not only that, even Aisha, she used to order her nieces so they have to suckle any man who want to enter upon them. Mean, I wish I was in the time of the Prophet. I want to go and see Aisha. And then you find, like in the secretary, a bunch of girls giving their breast. And you have to do it 10 times until you are satisfied. Not only like you can't do it in one day. No, no, no. You have to do it in 10 different times. Which means ten different days, and each time you do it, you like you start sucking. You can tell you cannot take it no more. If you stop before that, you have to start again from zero. It's not valid. Islam is a very conservative religion. We cannot shake hands with women, but we can shake their boobs and we can suckle them. And obviously, this is very, very beautiful. And now those verses, by the way, because the goat ate them, as we showed you, this wanted goat, uh, we cannot have them no more. And the Muslim, they say to us that the Quran was preserved. Uh, we have to agree it's preserved. I mean, look at this. It's preserved in the belly of the goat. And now if you ask the Muslim, who can you recite for me the verses of breastfeeding? Do you remember, guys, when I was debating Sheikh Al Abdul Wadud? And I asked him about this. He said, there's no such a thing. I said to him, are you accusing Aisha to be a liar? He said, brother, you have many questions, brother. I'm going, brother. I'm going to go now, brother, because I have to pray the Asha, brother, brother. You remember? You remember the liar? What is this? Obviously, this is the religion of ethic. I'm not going to keep the video long, so to make it easier for you guys to download, Please download it because I will take this video down in a few hours from now. All right, just to be sure, to be sure, it, it take maybe about twenty minutes for the video to be loaded in, to in total, so you can download it. So just wait like twenty or thirty minutes and download it because I have to take it down. Now I want to say thank you for being here, and uh, if you are offended, good for you. If you are not, I feel sorry for you because this video is very offending, offending for our mentality, offending for mankind. Offending for women, offending for men, offending for anyone who have a dignity, for we are saying the truth, and the truth hurt. Muhammad, he offend us all of us. Your mother and my mother, she is not a cow, so for men they can come and suck her breast. Your mother and my mother, they are not women for rental. Your sister, your daughter, she is not a sex toy. This is not what God created women for. And this is not what their duty. Muhammad is offending all of us. The one who don't respect his mother, his sister, his wife, his daughter, he have no respect to himself because you yourself you are born from there. 
This is an insult for mankind to believe in such a man like this. What is your dignity? Thank you for being here. And we have many, many more, but we are just trying to make it short. And this is supposedly a short video of a Christian prince. And when Christian Prince, he say a short video, that will make it maybe an hour or so. So thank you guys for being here. If you like to read more and learn about Islam, feel free to get my books from Amazon, Amazon.com, France, Germany. We have the books in many languages. And I hope more languages to come soon so you guys can share the knowledge and educate yourself. Education, education, my friend. The Bible says my people being destroyed because of their, their ignorance. Don't let ignorance destroy you. It's very dangerous. Ignorance is our enemy, is not our friend. And we are here to fight ignorance, not to fight Muslims. Muslims need our help. We don't hate them. We are here to help them. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Thank you.